The first episode of season 6 of The Chi showed many characters and their current vibes. The show focused on the role that immigration and a new generation have in the city's change-up. It was clear that the balance of power and influence was changing as Duda, Curtis Cook, began to make inroads among the younger generation. The challenges that should faced after getting out of prison were also talked about. The first episode's events show how well the program mixes personal issues with political drama and twists, making viewers wonder about where the tale of these connected lives will head next. The Chi Season 6 Episode 2, titled M.O. Duda, M.O. Problems, may solve some of your questions. What happened in the Chi Season 6 Episode 2? M.O. Duda, M.O. Problems starts when Victor is on his way to his first day on the council. His gait even has a spring to it. But when he gets to work, he finds an old friend waiting for him. Jamal, Lene's older bro, was put behind bars after Victor saw him commit a murder. He says he found religion and is on the right path now, and he wants Victor to help him connect with his sister. So, Victor asks Lene's guardians, who finally choose to let her decide. After some doubt, Lene chooses to meet Jamal, and they click right away. Meanwhile, Tiffany is doubtful of Cairo after finding out that Dante, a regular customer of hers, changed dealers. Cairo, though, seems more like a thinker than a businessman. He introduces himself as a weed pro who grows his stuff. After trying some of Cairo's weed, Tiffany believes he's the real deal and gets Rob to meet him. Cairo says no to their deal to be a dealer but gives them a better idea. He suggests they start a business growing weed and says he'll give them the seeds they need. Papa looks ready to move on after breaking up with Maisha. The cute girl he's noticed is two years older and so, an adult. He and Kenya, someone new at Smokey's, click because they're from similar families. Kenya makes it clear they can't date until he's 18, even if they're into each other. It feels like Duda has set up again as the neighborhood's big bad guy. Everyone knows who he is, and no one's safe from him. Bakery is a messed up kid whose bad behavior is getting even worse. People warn Bakery, but he knows that even if he runs, Duda won't let him. And if Bakery does, he'll be in big trouble. Since he's lived with them, Papa's kids treat him like family. Duda and his crew visit Papa's dad at the church he runs, trying to get him to clean money for Duda, but Papa's dad straight up says no. Turns out the priest was arrested because Papa's dad cleaned money for the big drug dealer Duda. But this time, one of Duda's guys ratted to the police. Trying to chill him out, Duda pretty much says he off the cop snitch. But the priest isn't affected. From outside, Bakery watches it all, maybe realizing he's got to choose sides in his life. Kevin and Maisha become tighter off-camera. Emmett's been struggling against Duda's takeover since he took Duda as his money guy. Even if his family and buddies warned him, he brushed them off at first because young dudes often put their drive before old people's wisdom. Emma doesn't get the mess he's made for himself, his folks, and his business until he watches the start of season 6 and sees Duda kill a dude for chewing gum loudly. At some point, Duda starts messing with other parts of Emmett's life too. Emma does what the older dude says and buys a car for Tiffany. Mad at Keisha's idea to move, Duda sends Emmett to a guy he knows, promising he'll chip in for the down payment. Part of Emmett gets what's happening, but he can't stop it. He ends up showing Keisha the place, and they decide to go for it. Rob and Tiffany need start money for their weed business, but they're broke. They decide to ask Rob's mom for a lot of cash. Rob's mom shares some past stuff about their tricky relationship, saying she'll give him cash if he finds and kills the person behind her bro Quinton's death. This puts Rob against Duda, his old source.